Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to today's video. This is going to be a bit of a mix of, uh, I don't even know, organizing, decluttering, reorganizing, yeah. It's going to be a mod podge of things because it was just going to be a closet clear out and then I started touching other areas of the house. So, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to today's video. So, before we start in here, I actually need to go through stuff that has already been decluttered out of my wardrobe. So, let's do that first. I've already decluttered out of my wardrobe and it's not going back in but what I need to do is fill this box with stuff that is not donatable so all the scrap materials and things like that that just aren't a good enough quality to go to the op shop and then everything else put in a different pile including but you can't really see the carpet shoes so I have Two pairs of runners where you might not be able to see but I've literally walked holes into the bottom so these aren't donatable whereas these I've worn like three times and just don't like them so they can be donated and then most of the clothes are fine I want to keep the clothes aside so that um, my friends can go through them and my family and then what's not donatable goes into this box and I'll send it to apparel to um, recycle essentially. So let's double check what's in the box because I'm not sure and just put the things that aren't donatable back in essentially. material these aren't for you but I love these shirts they have been worn by me that many times that the uh, armpits are basically like sweat stained, urine stained, bleach stained but I love a sloping t-shirt <laughs> like ah <laughs> oh, just amazing thing but all of these I wore for years and years and years I don't even know if you'll be able to read that but when I got it originally, which is why I'm donating it in the first place. Everything else here is all good. I'll just have to get some extra bags. So yeah, let's start actually decluttering everything. I'm gonna keep this box open because I know like when I buy secondhand, like this t-shirt in particular, it was on the $1 rack. So it was quite thin when I bought it and now that I've worn it like a thousand times, and washed it, it's literally see-through, so yeah. But I gotta hurry because the battery light is flashing, but we'll come back and be in the wardrobe next. All right guys, I apologize in advance for the lighting and if you can hear the neighbor's dogs going crazy, but I'm gonna try and keep everything on the racks and just go through it as quick as possible. I am gonna try and be really brutal because there are things that I bought with the intention of doing things with it or certain outfits and it's just not happening. So, sorry about this noise too. Oh no. 
wasn't too bad. <laughs> All right, I should probably do it from the other angle so you can see the front. Hang on. All right, so starting this side, I have a lot of flannels. <laughs> this one's definitely a keep. This one, I'm going to give away because I don't like the pink. I don't know why. It's a great size and it actually is really comfortable, but I'm not into pink. This one is Shein. I just never wear it and I kind of don't like the back, so it's going. This I just bought. Love. This is super duper oversized, but we're going to give it a chance. This one, I love the colouring. I love it so much, but it's a size small and I feel like my arms are being strangled in it. So no. This one, super cute keep. This I just bought keep. This I got for work. It's just a black long sleeve button up. And I saw people doing like a cropped look with it, but honestly, I don't think I'll wear it. So we're just gonna get rid of it. are going to make a terrible noise so I'm sorry in advance. This skirt I just bought. Keep. This one I just bought. We're going to keep for now. Um, it is a size too big and then I've got this one exactly the same brand but I bought this one at the op shop and this one brand new. This one's like a size too small and this one's like a size too big so we're going to keep them and see if I wear them. So they're very similar. I think we'll keep both for now. Denim shorts keep. These ones I'm going to get rid of. I've worn them a couple times. Now that I've got actual just plain denim shorts. So I've got three now, which is exciting. If you watched my last video, I got these ones. And then I found these two. So I'm not going to hang on to these because I was hanging on to those because I didn't have any plain denim. But I won't wear these now that I've got those. So yeah, that's pretty good. I've got... You know what? These two that I was going to keep because I was like, oh, I'm making pyjamas. That's how I have so many clothes. When it stops being useful as like everyday wear, it becomes pyjamas. But I have pajamas now. I just bought three new sets of pajamas, so we're gonna put those in the box. Chucking everything out. Alright, so sorry about that noise. This is all done. It looks so good. I have a couple things in the laundry, but it's basically a couple of active wear, so that's pretty much everything from there done. Let's do the other side. Okay guys, so this side is like pants, dresses, dressier jackets, um, and then coats. So if I can fit more of this over this side, like my shorter jackets and stuff, I will, so that I can condense it all down. Um, and then we'll see, yeah. 
we'll see what happens because I do want to try and keep myself I have a whole other half of the wardrobe because I am currently the only one in this wardrobe so I'm not lacking for space I just want to make sure that I'm not using all the space I have just for the sake of I've got the room I'm gonna have all these clothes which is why I'm going through this again um, you might think I've got so many clothes or you might think I've got like hardly any clothes but I think I've got a lot and I wear the same three things over and over again like this shirt is see-through at this point like I just keep wearing it so it should probably go too and I might but it's like my favorite shirt I got it for a dollar guys I got it for a dollar anyway moving on these jeans I've been hanging on to because they were the first jeans I found that fit me really well in a long time but they don't look flattering on me um, so they're going to go. Black palazzo pants. We're going to get rid of those. I love the idea of them, but they're so heavy um, that they basically fall off me and I just don't wear them so they can go. This is kind of, you know, when you've like invested in certain pieces that letting them go actually really hurts. <laughs> That's like those pants. I don't even wear them because I don't particularly like the look of them on me. I've tried, just not for me, but I paid money for them and I don't want to let them go. And normally I don't have that it's just with clothes that I do, especially when I buy them new. Um, but anyway, we're moving on. I've had them for years and I've worn them once. There's no point in me keeping them. Alright, you might not get the full effect, but dresses are next. These two coats, absolutely love. We're gonna keep, but we're gonna to put to the other side. These, I thrifted and haven't worn yet, but I want to wait until I have actually have somewhere to go to wear any of these. So we're just gonna put them over this side. Same as this oversized blazer denim jacket they're all keeps we're just gonna sort them over the other side this coat amazing keep one full length coat we're gonna keep raincoat keep raincoat keep and then I've got my two hoodies which definitely keep so that is this side done I'm gonna keep the more formal jackets over this side with the more formal wear Sorry about this noise. So not bad, half the rack is gone. All right, so I chucked the jackets over here real quick, but I just want to sort of sort it out. I've got more casual stuff here. Thicker ones at the back. Denim, more fancy. So I try to keep cropped things together, but I think what I might do is the more formal wear together. Formal wear, so all my... Right. So I've got all my more formal stuff here. Shirts and jackets. My denim shirts and my flannels, sportswear, like this is not technically sportswear but it's from a sportswear brand, but I think we'll stick these 
this here. Crop stuff first. And then all my cropped sports stuff. This I might put in here. These aren't real. These are also like these few. Not including this one, as technically sports tops, but I don't wear them as sports tops. So we'll put them with the more formal stuff. All right, and then these are all my sports wear t-shirts and then skirts. So that side is looking full, but because half of it's come from the other side. All right, so these drawers have all of my like sportswear in them. We're gonna go through those real quick because most of it's gonna stay. throw out 90% of that and not miss it, but I'm not going to. You're allowed to hang on to some things, right? is the aftermath. We have 31 hangers here that we got rid of. This half of the rack is now basically finished. I've got pants, dresses, jumpsuits, and then coats and hoodies. My hoodies my knitwear, I have like socks and jocks and underwear which I went through off camera because no one needs to be seeing that. This side has like short skirts, longer skirts, basically all my sportswear. These I hang up because they wrinkle easily otherwise they'd just be in the drawers. But pared down t-shirts, cropped jumpers because I'm obsessed, all of my jackets, some more formal tops and then all of my more dressier wear this is the top drawer the bottom drawer it's basically all black shorts and then up the back are some leggings these are all shorts and crop sets and these are all bike shorts and crop sets. Some of them don't have crops with them, but most of them do. And then it's like, sorry, got the strap there. These are like thinner active wear pants, like flared legging type yoga pants, trackies, pajamas. This is the pile. So pretty good um, declutter, I think. Okay, this is the current state of my bathroom. <laughs> I'm just gonna ignore the fact that this sink is in desperate need of a clean. I'm well aware. But anyway, we're going to go through what's underneath the cupboards because I want to not necessarily declutter that either, but reorganize it because it's kind of getting difficult to get to. I bought in some containers. So these are from the main bathroom. So this is what it looks like currently, which is fine. There's no issue with it whatsoever, but I just think it can be better. Right, 
So this is pretty much everything from the top rack. This stuff in here is like my everyday stuff. It's not stuff I use every single day, but most of it is. So I just want to fix it up a little bit so that they all flow nicely. got my travel bags to the back my face steamer my makeup I will go through my makeup bag at the end but for now I think it can live here and then I'm just gonna clean where this bin was sitting because there's hair and dust everywhere look at that oh my god that's disgusting No, that's alright. So it was just around the bin. <laughs> I think we'll just keep the bin there. It's in a convenient enough spot. So this is like everyday stuff. What I've got here, I'm literally sitting on the floor by the way, <laughs> is my nail stuff which is stuff I don't use very frequently. So we can leave that down here. And then I think I'll do the hair stuff next and try and fit that into one and rejig some of it because I can put the hair stuff here because it's also something that I don't get out regularly. So let's work on that next. I'm here, no, we're never apart. Cause I found shelter in your arms. I found forever here in your heart. got makeup, nails, hair, and then my bin which needs to be emptied but still a decent amount of room to move and the stuff that I've rarely used is down the bottom and more out of the way which gives me all this room up here to sort of sort through everything else. everyday things but the things I want more accessible in here and then this one over this side I like my things my cotton tips here they're accessible there and easy to grab that's my everyday stuff my more frequent stuff my less frequent stuff cotton buds and then I'm gonna make one last one here so I'm gonna go through this first aid Quickly go 
This is the after, it almost looks more full, but I've added an extra basket in. So I've got down the bottom, my bin, my nail stuff, all my makeup. Behind that is the travel bags, my steamer, which I just sort of spread it out. And then I've got hair stuff, things that are just irregular use more common stuff and then everyday stuff which is quite empty which is how I like it so it's more accessible so yeah this is the reorganization okay guys so that's it for this week thanks so much for coming along with me on this little journey of decluttering hopefully you found it at least somewhat motivating or entertaining and I will see you next week bye millennial like me you'll understand the funny side of this t-shirt where mustaches were just like in randomly